Uh, t talk to me just a second about uh, this year, particularly uh, COVID has been a, a big concern and, and on a lot of people's minds. Has that altered the way that you have to do your job or has it put a, a, a hinder on that? It's, it's certainly been a challenge uh, this year with, with COVID. Um, just the way you uh, respond to calls. Uh, the way the calls are dispatched, even mm -hmm. uh, you know, if dispatch uh, has now they they have a, a series of questions they ask usually on some calls that uh, will let us know if, if anybody in the household is is positive mm -hmm. or possibly positive, mm -hmm. and then they'll put that on the radio, which again gives us a heads up so we can prepare for that mm -hmm. before we go into the scene, uh, which is nice to know. I mean, sometimes you don't, but always always we have to take the time to put in our protective equipment before mm -hmm. we enter, enter the scene. Now now it's just another added thing we have to do mm -hmm. uh, to protect ourselves from, you know, COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it is an added burden. Uh, not that we can't deal with it, but it's it's just something else we got to deal with. It's mm -hmm. always on our mind. We, we want to stay safe. We want to be able to come to work and do our jobs and to keep the public safe. So if this were to sweep through the public safety community, then obviously that's an issue. Absolutely. So we have to try our best to keep ourselves protected and safe so we can be here for others. Absolutely, I see that as a challenge too in, in all public safety. I mean, if if you aren't protecting yourself, uh, I mean, you're, you're front line uh, and, and that's going to put a real burden on every everyone else. Everybody so I mean, yeah, so I, I totally.